Hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. Well, I just pulled this carrot out from right there. We just cannot grow carrots here. The soil is not suitable. Well, maybe you can see, maybe you can't. Well, there's a lot of sand in this. So it's fairly loose soil. These carrots, I don't know, they've been in the ground four months, three or four months. And they just will not grow. We fertilized them. Actually taking pretty good care of them. But they just... Carrots is something we cannot grow here. We just have to come to that conclusion. Most root crops don't do any good at all here. <coughs> we, we, even, even in the uh, raised bed, the original raised bed up there where it's mostly rice holes. They didn't do well. So, uh, I'm down here with the, the bar and the shovel. I don't know how, how long I can make it today, but I've got to do a little bit of something. I'm going to prepare these four rows, basically, right here. One, two, three, and make a row here. They're all too high, so especially these rows down on this end. So, uh, I'm just going to widen them a bit, and uh, we'll get these planted probably in onions. These rows are, are okay, they just need to be flattened out, especially on these ends here, they're way too high. This, whole, this one needs to be worked, uh, this one needs to be lowered. All of this area right here needs to come down a couple inches. So, uh, I've brought the wheelbarrow also. I'm going to move some of this dirt back up there, right next to that little banana tree right there. And uh, make the, the walking path a little easier to walk on. And the rest of these I'm going to work up. You can see, I mean, this is, this soil has a lot of sand in it and a lot of rice holes. This particular little plot of soil right here, I don't think we could make anything better on this farm. We just cannot grow carrots. There's nothing there bigger than my thumb. And they've been in the ground months. So, yeah, giving up on carrots. We're going to concentrate on other things like onions, corn, okra, beans. Giving up on carrots. All right, well, it's break time. This has taken me all afternoon just to get these three rows here done. It's almost five. I've got to go up and feed the fish and the dogs. So I'm not going to finish that last row there, and that's probably going to take me all day tomorrow. I've got to, I've got to dig down a canal on the far side, all the way back here, and that, you know, I was so tired, I didn't feel like we were using the wheelbarrow, when I was digging this part of the ditch out right here, I was just throwing the dirt to the side, so, all that's got to be removed, and about another two inches lower than that and a full ditch along that side and I've got to take the high part of this old levee out all the way back up probably right about there that's going to take me all day tomorrow maybe even maybe even a day and a half but I've knocked down these rows probably took a good six inches off of this one for the first couple feet and four or five inches off of that one and basically just flattened them all and uh, dug out the canals the ditches a little bit added some to the sides uh, made them wider they're probably well these two here are a foot wider that one really didn't have the soil to use i'll use some of this that i'm going to dig from there 
uh, to make this one wider. It needs about uh, four inches on each side all the way back. That's going to be some fun little dirt moving there, but uh, we're getting there. Hopefully I'll have all this done tomorrow. This is, I've decided, I've got to double check with Marcel, see what she wants to do, but I've kind of decided that the squash, the uh, western style squash that we got, uh, the silver dollar, we, we always call them silver dollar, butternut, whatever they are, I'm going to plant those in these three rows here. Unless Marcel wants to put onions in. These are nice wide rows now for onions. We'll see. Gonna get something put in there. While I was over prepping those rows over there by the well, yesterday and today, the girls have been cleaning this area here, getting it ready to plant. Now, I'm thinking Well, I don't know. I was thinking to knock down the higher parts of this just a couple inches. There's really no way to widen them. But at least I can flatten them. But now that I'm looking at it, the, the capillary action of the water, you know, it's, it's wet three inches down in that soil. You can see that that dark that darkness right there that's the capillary action of the water and there's not even any water standing in this ditch but it just naturally comes up. There's water standing in that one right there. You know the whole purpose for these was to get the get the plants up out of the out of the wetness and I don't want to I don't want to knock these down so much that they're it's defeating the purpose so I think we'll just leave these the way that they are what can you say girls so many grass Yeah, I don't know, somehow we're going to have to come up with some pesos to try some plastic uh, for weed control. This is just way too time consuming. The consing worked on this. Well, of course they had to remove the poles and the string and all that as well. But Consing worked on this almost all day yesterday, and Consing and Jen worked on it today. Now, uh, it was a large area to clean, but still very labor intensive. A day and a half to clean this and get it ready to plant, just from the weeds. That's a that's over 500 pesos in labor, and I can get a I can get a roll of that plastic for 2,700. It's a meter wide and 400. Uh, he says it's 400 meters long. I don't know. I'm thinking it's 100 meters long, but uh, I'll reinspect it. I'm thinking that's what we're going to have to start doing. Uh, I don't think. Obviously, we have to wait till payday, but so this here is going to get planted without it. But and, and that and the tomato where we're going to remove the tomatoes and plant corn, that's probably going to be put in without it. But when we pull up all this eggplant, all this area right here, hopefully by that time we'll have the plastic.
I need to get a, I really need is a piece of string and just lay it from the middle of one of these ditches up over into the middle of another one and see if a meter wide is going to be wide enough. I would like them to overlap a little bit, at least enough to keep it, keep it sealed in the bottom of these furrows. And uh, we'll see. If there's any string left up there. Well, I'll just go get the measuring tape and measure it. And we'll go from there. Alrighty, it's almost quitting time. I'm tuckered. It's my quitting time. My back's cramping up. Time for me to go sit down. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.